Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to use the Trust Wallet for iOS. So let's get going. Okay, so in the news lately, Binance has acquired uh, the Trust Wallet company. It's a decentralized trust wallet, keeps your transactions anonymous, and uh, it's Ethereum-based. So it will hold Ethereum and ERC-20 tokens. So I had never used it before and thought it sounded pretty cool. So I'm just going to install it, uh, walk you through it, and throw a little crypto in there put it through its paces, see how it uh, sets up and how it allows you to back up and all that other good stuff. So uh, join me as I explore the Trust Wallet. All right, so this is their homepage. Uh, as I mentioned, it's a secure wallet for Ethereum uh, and ERC-20 tokens. These are some of its features, uh, security, ERC-20 compatible, uh, it's open source code. I don't know how that's going to change if Binance uh, acquires the company. Uh, from what I understand, they're just going to be handling the uh, accounting end of it, and they're going to let it uh, remain an independent uh, wallet. Uh, it's also anonymous, and uh, it has a decentralized exchange where you can trade coins back and forth, which is also pretty cool. And then uh, it has a feature where it can run a Web3 browser which will allow you to use uh, dApps and Web3. Uh, dApps are decentralized apps that, that can run on the Ethereum network. So uh, enough talk, let's go ahead and get it. I'm gonna share my phone with you. Okay, now uh, I'm going to be downloading the iOS version. Uh, there is also uh, an Android version of this wallet too. So uh, the setup should be pretty similar. So the first thing I'll do is go to the App Store and we'll just get Trust Wallet here. Okay, and there it is. Just tap Get. All right, and then we just tap Open here. All right, and we're at the home screen. We're gonna create a wallet. So uh, they mentioned it's secure that the private keys never leave the device. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through the Create Wallet. All right, now it's presenting me with a backup phrase, uh, which I can copy uh, into my clipboard and paste into, say, a note or uh, something else of that nature. Uh, the most secure way would be to write it down on a piece of paper and keep it in a safe place. Okay, so uh, once you have copied down this uh, backup phrase and put it in a safe place, we can move on to the next uh, phase. Now I cannot stress enough how important this backup phrase is. Uh, we're dealing with advanced cryptography here. You are the one that is in control of this wallet. You control the private key. It's on your, it's in your phone, and you control the restore phrase. If anything should happen to this wallet or you need to move it somewhere, you will be able to as long as you have this backup phrase. But no one else has this phrase. If you lose it, you can't call the company and say, gee, I lost my backup phrase. Your crypto will be gone forever. So please, please, please take this seriously. Put this in a safe place and do not lose it. All right. So now that I've scared the bejeebas out of you, let's move on to the next phrase. Phase. Okay. All right. Now it wants us to verify. Now we need to tap the words in the same order that they were shown to us on the first screen. So I'm going to go through that. All right. So uh, I managed to do that. So we'll move on to the next phrase. And there we go. Now it didn't give me the option of renaming the wallet, which I kind of would have liked. Not that I'm that creative. But uh, it just basically created the wallet and gave it a name. And, uh, didn't ask for any input from me. All right, so let's hit done. And boom, there we go. Uh, I have an empty wallet. So uh, it has Ethereum in it. So uh, to keep things simple, I'm going to go ahead and the first thing I'll do is transfer some Ethereum into the wallet. And we'll just uh, test it out and see how that goes. All right, so I want to launch my Ledger Live. So I'll have an interface to the Ethereum that is stored on my Ledger Nano S. 
that's not really accurate when I say it like that. The Ethereum is not stored on the ledger. The only thing stored on the ledger are the private key of the Ethereum address. All right, and so we're gonna go over to the Ethereum wallet. So in order to send some Ethereum, I'm going to need an address. So I'm gonna tap receive here. All right, and it's gonna give me uh, a QR code if I were sending it uh, from maybe a different wallet that uh, could read this QR code, I would do that, but uh, I'm using Ledger Live, so I'm just gonna copy this wallet address. I'm gonna tap, All right? And now I can send it. Actually, I probably didn't even need to do that because you see up there I have the share, All right? And I can share this with email and just send this address to myself. All right. I'm gonna send myself this message and I'll go over here to my email. All right, so now I have the Ethereum address that I need. Just gonna copy that into my clipboard. And then I can go back to my Ledger Live and uh, paste in that receiving address. So I am sending Ethereum from the address held on my Ledger, Nano S, that uh, the uh, address with the balance that I can see in my Ledger Live application. I'm sending a little bit of that Ethereum over to the new uh, trust wallet, all right? So how much am I gonna send? I'll go ahead and send 0.2. I'll go crazy, all right? And uh, let's see. Um, if I hit advance, I could up the amount of gas just to make sure this transaction goes through. So I'm gonna pop it up to five just to be on the safe side. Uh, pay a little bit of a fee there, better than a failed transaction, which you'll lose the gas for that you expended trying to send. I'm gonna bump this up to four. All right. All right, so uh, let's give it a try. Now I need to uh, enter the Ethereum app on the device, All right? So I'll navigate over to Ethereum. I believe that's it. Yeah, and I'll hit both buttons. All right. And you'll want to make sure when you're using Ledger Live that in your settings that you have your browser support set to no, right? Okay. All right, so we're going to hit continue there. And it wants me to verify the uh, transaction by hitting the plus. And it says the transaction was set. And you can even use this button to check the details of the transaction. It's not confirmed at the moment. Let's go back here. Let's go back a l another. We can view and explore etherscan.io. And uh, let's watch to see if this thing goes through. All right, so uh, we know that the transaction went out. We just need to wait to see what happens in the wallet. All right, so while I'm waiting for that Ethereum, why don't we go ahead and uh, set up the uh, passcode for the wallet to keep it more secure. All right, so I'm going to enable passcode, and it wants me to give it a passcode uh, in digits, which uh, I will do. All right, so I've uh, enabled passcode, but it should also work with Face ID, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, close this wallet. All right, and then we'll go back over, we'll close the wallet, and then we'll relaunch. And it's going to ask if I want to enable Face ID or Touch ID. In my case, it'll be Face ID. So I'll hit OK there, and it uses Face ID. And lo and behold, while we were setting that up, uh, the Ethereum came in. So it didn't take very long, uh, less than five minutes. So that's cool. So, uh, so far so good. I like the wallet. I like the fact that it has a seed phrase that you can use to restore on this phone or a different phone. Uh, so it's got uh, the features of a good cryptocurrency wallet. And uh, the transfer worked just fine. Um, so I'm happy with that, showing my balance. Now, uh, I noticed as I was waiting that it says tokens will appear automatically uh, tap plus to add manually. So why don't we throw some tokens at this Ethereum address and see what happens, right? Just for laughs. 
Now, in order to send tokens, uh, I can't access them through Ledger Live. So we're going to go to a different interface and uh, my Ether Wallet. All right. And uh, in this case, I'm going to need to change the settings in my Ethereum app. I'm going to need to go from uh, browser support no to browser support yes. Right. And I'm going to go to send Ether and tokens. And I'm going to choose the Ledger wallet. I'll choose connect and unlock. Uh, there are some ERC-20 tokens uh, that live in this, uh, this Ethereum address. This is the same Ethereum address I just sent some tokens from. Right? So in this case, I'm going to send some tokens to that same Ethereum address that I just sent. So I'm going to go back over to the email and uh, grab that Ethereum address. Right? And then we'll go back to my Ether wallet. So let's see here. I'm going to do a quick refresh. Oops. Failed, out of gas. All right, now I've had some issues with transactions failing. So uh, my advice is to just pump up the gas. Uh, I'm using 61,000, that may be overkill. Uh, and I've got my GUI set to 99, but it's already failed on me a couple times and I've lost a few dollars here and there. So I'm just gonna, you know, yank out the big guns here all right so i'm going to choose generate transaction and i'm going to confirm the transaction here on the ledger right that gives me send transaction here i will click uh, yes i am sure see i got the 61,000 gas limit and the 99 gui it's going to cost me like three bucks to send this erc20 token that's worth about uh three bucks i don't know I just want to show you this working, all right? All right, so I'm going to click Verify Transaction. And then I can watch to see if it verifies or not. Aha! So uh, I successfully sent the uh, 40 tokens. <laughs> they were worth $12.96, and I spent $2.23 to get them across <laughs> the Ethereum network goodness all right but it's all in the name of uh, demonstration right I hope you're learning from this uh, I don't mind spending a little money sending small amounts just as a demonstration for you guys uh, my hope is that someday this addix will go up in price and those 40 were are going to be worth a lot more than uh, $12.96 down the road but anyway, that's besides the point. At the moment, we really just want to watch how this wallet handles that transaction. So I sent a transaction to the Ethereum address of the wallet. And what I'm hoping to see is the ADX uh, magically appear in this wallet. Am I asking too much? Probably. All right, so let's check it out. hey there we go so uh, they just came in I've been kind of you know pulling down to refresh uh, waiting for those uh, ADX to come in and uh, like they said they sort of auto magically appeared um, I didn't add uh, an ADX wallet uh, beforehand I just transferred ADX into the Ethereum address of this wallet so I'm gonna go ahead just for uh, kicks Go ahead and send uh, one more. And uh, this time I'm gonna send, as you'll notice, I had some uh, some poly down here. I'm gonna send 100 poly. So we'll go down here to poly, we'll send 100. All right, and I'm gonna keep my GUI high uh, because I had a few failed transactions earlier. We're gonna choose generate transaction. We're gonna confirm that transaction on the ledger device itself all right and then I'm gonna hit uh, the blue button and then I'll confirm that. as you can see I'm sending uh, 100 poly wherever it is it doesn't even say but I sent 100 uh, and then I'm gonna confirm that 
All right, and then I can choose uh, Verify Transaction, which I will do here. And then we can sort of wait and see if it uh, shows up. First, we'll uh, confirm that it actually uh, was a successfully sent transaction. Refresh the web page here. There we go. So the transaction went out successfully. Um, and you, as you can see, I sent 100 poly, and it cost me $2.17. So whether you think this is a, uh, a fair price, I, you know, uh, the Ethereum network is not perfect, right? And uh, due to some uh, network traffic issues or whatever the issues may be, uh, we're having to pump up uh, the gas and the GUI in order to get transactions to go through. Um, hopefully they'll resolve this issue at some time in the future, but uh, this does not mean that Ether is useless. It just means that they're having some growing pains right now, which I'm perfectly willing to accept. Hey, there we go. Uh, so we got the polymath in there too. So uh, that's really nice that you can just send the ERC20 tokens to the Ethereum address of the wallet and they just automatically you know, add the icon and add the account. And uh, the nice thing about this interface is it sort of keeps the Ethereum and the ERC20 tokens kind of on equal footing. And it's got a nice looking interface and it gives you a total value in dollars of the current holdings. And it even shows you a little bit of the, you know, the current price and, uh, you know, the, the chart. I'm not sure if the 91% means uh, the last 24 hours or the last week. I'm assuming it probably means in the last 24 hours. And you may even be able to adjust those settings, right? So we could change the currency, um, privacy settings. Uh, you can join their uh, Twitter, Telegram, Facebook, or Discord. Uh, you can uh, share this app with friends. So it's pretty cool. You got lots of stuff that you can play around with. Uh, we could allow push notifications. Uh, so when uh, someone's, some one of your friends sends you some uh, tokens or ether, it's gonna give you an alert on your phone, which is kind of cool. Let me go back over here to wallet. And as you can see, the history of the Ethereum wallet I have those two zero transactions. Those were when the tokens came in, right? So you can see the transfer of 4080X and the 100 polymath. And then over here, you've got this little browser uh, where you can play around uh, with dApps. I'm not gonna go into that today. Uh, I just wanted to make sure that the wallet worked okay. Uh, I like the interface. Um, it's functional. It has a, a seed recovery phrase. It uh, has the option to uh, set a password, and uh, it also works with facial recognition and touch ID, which I, I really like that, too. And, uh, you know, the possibilities are endless. You could add bunches of ERC-20 tokens into this thing. It's a cool way to carry around uh, your crypto uh, in a safe and secure way. So I encourage you to go out and try this wallet out and I wish you the best of luck. If you have any questions about the wallet, just throw them up in the comments. I'll do my best to get back to you. I would like to remind everyone that I have a live stream every Friday night at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. It's a live Q&A from LA. Uh, I invite you to join me and throw out any questions that you may have. Hope to see you there. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up or uh, an upvote on Steemit. Either way, whatever platform you happen to be watching this video on. Uh, once again, I would like to thank you for joining me, and I hope to see you again soon.